Ohara. And guess what it is? Tomorrow is a full moon. I've been really, really busy this month of June, um, you know, working on doing my renovation and also, you know, really focusing on the next half of this year. And June was really a busy month where we had to experience the Mercury retrograde was just ended on June 22nd, two days ago. So now it's funny because I'm getting all these, you know, communication coming in. I, I, the other day I just finished my, I call it my thesis on my new program that I'm going to be sharing with everyone. And so I'm putting all together all of my contents and organizing it on my Coco George channel page, which is www.cocojorchannel.com, where you can do instant booking and purchasing our world famous cooling vest for the dogs to keep your dog cool at 65 degrees with no refrigeration needed. And they also won an award with Dog Fancy Magazine back in 2004. Wow. It's been a while and it's still selling like hotcakes. Why? Because it works. And so June is coming up where we are at our final, I guess, ending phase of half of the year. And the full moon is coming up on June 24th. And it's really a time where we choose how you know, we want to be, we do we want to have our close relationship with, you know, how we had it before, or are we going to choose the freedom, which is now here? And so what I'm saying now here is because last year we all had a wake up call and a lot of us lost our jobs, our path, our career, you know, our family and so forth. And so really this signify, you know, we keep on hearing the new world, a new beginning, a new era. This is it. And so Mercury retrograde just ended. And so this is a time that we need to really focus on your creativity, your intuition, you know, your dream of what you really want to see in reality. And so make sure, like I said, to keep your, you know, like a dream diary next to you because this is going to really connect you to your true calling or your divine or your spirit. Um, because you got to make sure because there's going to be so much things on the outer world. Outer world meaning there's going to be a lot of intense truth. There's going to be a pull and push things that's going to happen. A lot of um, really battling energy on your outer side, which I call society, you know, the outside world, because this is where, you know, a lot of things are really erupting and it's going to keep on going on until September, October, which is a very feisty month. And so you really, like I said, need to be anchored and focus and be resilient of how we're going to feel in bringing in, like I said, the new beginning of your new career or your new path or your new journey or things that we made plan for. You know, I mean, this would really give you the power for yourself instead of giving out your power to the external world and really having them take away that and you know there's a lot of people who play victim you know because short surely things needs to come to an end meaning that all of these handouts like you know these unemployment or these you know things that that we can go and get grants and so forth those are going to start to really fade away and so you need to focus on your inner authority and really focus on 
I choose to, to create my timeline, you know, where you know what's right. And so let that be your inner authority to guide you forward. And really just let the old process fade away. And then that way you get to really focus and celebrate with like-minded people. Because if you keep on working, you know, in, in your new vision, your new path, whether you found a new love, a new career, a new way of working with your family members, your friends, your clients, so forth. There is a new thing had to start, no matter how you look at it. Before, it was really concentrating of, you know, conquer and divide and stuff like that, which they already created. And so you take that path to really focus on your future, you know, and really, when I say focus on your future, because all of this starts from grassroots, because it's really grassroots up to really attain, because you're the one who creates it, right? You're the creator. And so really, because when it comes to June 27th, okay, there's gonna be a really strong energy, which we call it a T-square. And so this is a really an energy of discipline. And I would call it more of a yang power, an external power. And, and you're gonna be feeling it for this about one week. I mean, there's gonna, it, there's gonna be a lot of these things that's gonna happen. Remember now, that's just what's happening externally. And if you give that power over to what's happening externally, you're gonna miss out this discipline of your inner energy. And really just make it feel, have it really coexist naturally, like butter melting in the sun. You know, just let it happen, like sunflowers just blooming, you know, water glistening. Because there is a really, a human evolution of changes because you're gonna have people who used to have their own ways of doing certain things like a chef all of a sudden become a yoga practitioner nothing wrong with that or you know there's gonna be an because people we were so bothered by our identity what is your handler name and that's how technology kind of give us an AI about ourself, right? But if we have this internal thing that we say, you know what, this is a new beginning. This is a new way for me to start a new relationship with blank. And so, you know, when, when that happened, always remember that the light, the light within yourself is really the game changer. And the love is really the checkmate. And so really be the anchor and vision for your future and how you want to do it. Because, you know, a lot of people now change really the environment and how we move. A lot of people had lost their homes or lost their, their place of business and they have to restart their engine again. And so nothing is wrong. Who cares what the other, uh, outer world or whoever's saying? This is a new beginning for you. And so hopefully in the last, you know, six months, well, you are able to curate that path, the soul map, and you're able to launch it. But launch it when you are ready because that is the best kind of launch that you don't need to be bothered by certain things because you have already planned out and put place marks on how you're gonna achieve your journey. And so really this full moon is really a time to clean up 
and focus and really bring in that external light so you can check mark that love of loving life and having this bliss every day really trust the process because if you trust the process it's meaning that you're trusting yourself within yourself so have a wonderful full moon you know the routine of full moon take out your crystal let it cleanse let it re-energize and let it give you that moment of really saying goodbye to certain parts of your life a chapter because the book has to end somehow some way and if you keep on letting that door open or a little bit open you be the judge of how much you want to really let go and that's a process for full moon is to let it go just let it go and then that way when the new moon comes up which would be on July the 9th, you get to put in all that new intention into and make it happen. And so that's what I've been doing and I've been really, really busy. Can't wait for you guys to all join me and enjoy the summer because we have our cooling products, our cooling vest, our royal famous cooling vest, like I said, to keep your dog cool at 65 degrees no refrigeration needed it's award winning since 2004 by dog fancy magazine so all of that will make it available for you and enjoy summer it's here aloha